Hi guys, thank you so much for your participation for week one mission. I hope everyone had fun creating your own contact lenses and getting them approved. In week two, we're going to start with modeling a long sleeve top. This week's tutorial is divided into two parts. First, focusing on modeling the object. Then second, learning to organize a UV layout in the most efficient way. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's open our default file. First, we're going to import an image to use as a reference. Shift A to add, image, reference. Go to the file location of your image. Double click. Click, drag the corner to scale it. Scale it to about a similar size as your Zepeto body. Place it on the size so it doesn't interfere with their modeling work. And let's go to Mask Skin Mail. Tap key to go to Edit Mode. Number two to go to Edge Select Mode. Let's hide the base set for now. And we're going to select this edge all together. So to do that, Alt Shift holding down, click, click, click. Turn to the back to click the back edges as well. Let's go to the ends of the arm, click this edge, shift alt holding, click. And we're going to select this edge. So again, shift alt, click. Now we're going to select all the faces within the selection. Go to select, select loops, select loop inner region. Basically, we're copying a long sleeve base from the skin mail mask. Doing this will allow easier weight transferring. As we learned before, shift D to duplicate, right click to place it in the same location, P to separate, and selection. Let's move back to the object mode. Select a new object, rename, Start with the Zepeto category. So this one is top, T-O-P, underscore, 001. Then go back into the edit mode. Clearly, this is way too tight. So we're going to scale it up. Select all, A, Alt, S. Move your mouse up to get it to the thickness you want. When we just scale it with S, it's going to get bigger like this but we want it to look like the avatar is wearing the top. So we use scale along normals. If you remember from a geometry class, a normal is a line that is perpendicular to a given object. So in this case, if we're scaling along normal, it means that you're scaling up or down these faces in, in these directions, the normal direction. Now we're going to create a waistband look like this. Let's create an edge loop here, control R, and you'll see that the edge is going up and down in between these two edges. You can either right click to place it in the center, or you can just drag it to the place you want and click. Shift Alt, select, select, and let's select this one too. This time, just regular scale. Pull it in a bit, make sure it doesn't go inside the body and it looks like this in the object mode. And let's scale this to give more volume. Shift Alt click, S for scale, Alt Shift click, S for scale. And if it's scaling in a large increment like this, press Shift and it'll go slower. Alt Shift click. S, shift, give more volume. Rotate to C from the side view, and we'll do the same for the sleeves. Control R to create a new edge. Click once, drag it to the place you want. Click, Alt, shift, click, click. Alt, S to and and move your mouse down until you have a cuff 
like this. And on the other side, Ctrl R, click, move it down, Alt Shift, click, click, Alt S, move down the mouse. Let me tell you a little trick. When you know you want a symmetrical sleeves, what you can do is Alt Shift, select the center line, rotate back and select the center line at the back as well. Slice this by pressing V. And you see that the edges have been cut. Press ESC to place it in the same location. Come to the left side of the object, select linked by L, and you see that the object has been cut in half. We're going to delete this half, X, delete faces. We're going to continue modeling one sleeve and we're going to mirror the whole object later on. Let's create more volume. Alt Shift click, S scale, Shift, Alt Shift click, S Shift, A little function that we can use here is this proportional editing. Select, connect it only. And we're going to select this edge, Control Shift, select. And this time when we scale, you're going to see a little circle here. If you don't see it, scroll up and down until you see the circle. This will allow the edges within the circle to be affected. You can scroll up or down to make the affected region larger or smaller. Go out to the object mode. And from the modifier properties, we're going to add mirror and click these little dots and drag it up. And you see that we have a symmetrical object now. Now we have to apply this modifier. You can only do that in object mode. Before applying, when you go to edit mode, you can only edit the right side. Click this little arrow and apply. And then when we go to edit mode, now you can see the left meshes as well. Let's clean up these lines a little bit more. Shift Alt Select and Shift Alt Select. Remember the loop tool that we enabled in the preferences. Right click. We're going to use that now. Loop tools. Flatten. It's straight now. Another trick to edit your fitting of the top is to use the sculpt mode. So we'll go to the object mode, select the item, go to sculpt mode. Mainly used brushes are draw, draw sharp, smooth, grab, and elastic deform. Let's use this one. And here you can adjust the size of the brush, the radius goes up, the brush gets bigger. You can adjust the strength here. And if you want to work in symmetry, enable mesh symmetry and the X axis and drag and pull to create the look you want. Don't just look at it from the front, go to the side, rotate, remember the short keys, three to go to the right, Let's pull it out a little bit, the back to pull out the chest to make into a female body. While an elastic deform brush, hold shift to smooth, or you can go to smooth brush, adjust the strength by dragging down, up and down. Go to the viewport overlays, turn on wireframe to check if the edges are not too far off from being straight. It's always best to keep these edges in line. Go back to turn off the wireframe. When you're happy with your design, let's go back to edit mode. Clean up these lines. Shift, Alt, Select. 
right click, loop tools, flatten, shift alt select, loop tool, flatten, rotate along x axis, view from the front, view from the object mode. Okay, go back into edit mode. Let's create the seam on the neck. Shift Alt click, S to scale, pull it in a little bit. Let's turn on proportional editing again, O and G to move. Pull it down. Rotate to the back. Alt Shift click will select the whole edge in loop. Select, control, select. Control one to view from the back. Press one to go to vertex select mode. So when you move a vertex, you can basically move it to anywhere. But if you want to move it along the edges, you can do G and G again. It'll snap and stay within the edges. Select the vertex, GG, move along the edge, GG to move along the edge. And let's select this whole edge. And now we'll bevel the edges, Control B. Move your mouse up to see multiple edges. You can scroll up or down to add more edges. Let's add one more to create three edges and have them close together like this. And select the middle edge, shift alt click, scale along normal, alt s, move down the mouse. You'll see that the selected edge was scaled inwards. Two, to go to edge select mode, right click, mark sharp, and this will give you a sharp edge. So before it looked like this in the object mode, apply, mark sharp, and now it's much clearer. And we'll do the same down here. Alt shift select, control B to bevel, move up, scroll up, one, two, three, three edges. Select the middle, Alt S, move down, right click, mark sharp. And there we go. Select the seams, Control B, move up, create three, select the center, select the center here, Alt S, move it down, right click. Mark sharp. You have the sleeves, neck, and the waistband seam. Let's do it on the ends of the sleeves too. Actually, let's select this edge and bevel this time maybe just two edges to make it smooth. Select this edge and this. Right click, mark sharp. Let me show a little bit more about the normals that we talked about before. Select your top, go to edit mode, viewport overlays, show face orientation. The visible side of the face should be blue. And as you can see here, the inside is red and in Zepetto, this will show invisible. Make sure all the outside faces are blue and you'll see sometimes red faces on the outside. When you do, select all, go to mesh, normals, recalculate outside, and it'll turn into blue. If it doesn't, select those faces, mesh, normals, and you can flip it manually. We also need to close these open ends to avoid showing these invisible faces inside. Let's turn off the face orientation. 2 to edge select mode, select the edges, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude again, and scale again. This time go through the body. Let's come to the front view. We'll go to x-ray mode. Click here, Alt-Z to toggle back and forth. 
select the inner edge, come to the front view, going to move it inwards to the right. So G to move, X to move to the right, and just about where the sharp edge is. Alt Z to go back. Now you don't see the red faces anymore. We also need to close the neck area. Alt Shift click, E to extrude, S to scale, G, Z to move down a little bit, E to extrude, S to scale, G, Z to move it down, viewport overlay, face orientation, no red faces are showing. The same on the bottom. Select the edge, shift alt click, E to extrude, S to scale, E again to extrude, S to scale, 1 to front view, Alt Z to x ray, G Z to move it up to the sharp edge. Alt Z to come back, tap to view from the object mode, and we're going to mark seams to unmap a UV layout. Select edit mode. Think about your actual clothes and where the seams are. On the shoulders, as we've already created, so select these two edges. And also here and where the waistband is in here and also on the wrists in edge select mode right click mark seam and you'll see that the selected edges have turned red it doesn't mean your mark sharp has disappeared it's still there and we also have seams on the side here here, up here on the shoulder. We only want to select from this edge to this edge. So select, control shift, the end. Do the same on the other side. Shift select, control shift, the last edge. Right click, mark seam. Let's mark seam here, this inside part. I recommend doing this and I'll tell you the reason when we unmap our UV. And also at the bottom here too, right click, mark seam. Now we're ready to unwrap our UV. Select all A, go to UV, unwrap. And here in the UV editor window, you'll see something similar like this.